name is Sheila Beck and the rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe. And ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. So uh, Big Finish has announced they are. Uh, there's a new... Uh, eighth Doctor range going on. No, Big Finish have been rebooting all their range of the past year, uh, uh, and I used to, as I talk about in this video, I used to be uh, uh, very, very invested in the in the Eighth Doctor range, uh, which I'm not now. Right, I'm totally out of it, and uh, I'm somewhat surprised because this was a real effort to uh, reboot and I think uh, try and win, win in new uh, listeners and win back old listeners that went away. You know. Uh, um, and it's not doing it for me, right? I'm kind of sad that it's not doing it for me. And I realise uh, when, when 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 I decided I'm not getting into this combination of it's just not exciting enough, and the price increases made it not worth it for me. But I realised I can't even imagine what they could do to win me back with this range now, which means I'm much more upset than I, than I uh, well upset. Yeah, yeah, I'm much more yeah upset than I thought I was. I, I, again, I invested heavily into it, and I feel it was used as uh, yeah as I was talking about in this video. So you think it was used as a. Uh, uh, a quasi-religious platforming for quite bonkers ideas, you know. So, uh, uh, which I understand, it's a very normative thing in the world today. But normally, you know, uh, uh, when you see these uh, uh, platforming for bonkers ideas, it's on things you're not paying for directly. Like, you know, if you see uh, a TV show on Netflix or Disney Plus that's uh, uh, telling you that men can have babies and whatever, right? You don't feel like, oh, I just paid you twenty bucks for that for you to tell me that, so, or you to tell me that you don't like Brexit or you don't like Donald Trump or you do like Donald Trump, or you don't, whatever, right? I, 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 I don't need, I don't feel like I need to pay somebody directly to do that when it's like part of a general service. But this, I'm buying things individually, uh, um, and uh, yeah, no, I'm, <laughs> it, 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 it pushed me out the range. And my bottom line is, I don't know what they could do to win me back. I hope they come up with something, right? I do hope they come up with something because I had some great times with the Eighth Doctor. I, I, it was a great, it was a great time, right? It was a great time, but uh, uh, I don't know, really. I do not know. Uh, 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 who knows what the future will be? Anyway, I talk about this uh, in this video. So my live stream last night, recording this on Friday, the 18th of November. About to hear what, uh, about uh, who our new companion is going to be tonight. I'm not. I'm not going to hear who the good new companion is going to be because uh, uh, it's Sabbath for me. So I'm going to be offline. I have to wait till Saturday night. Well, you know, these are the things you do for uh, uh, the good Lord. As I say, anyway, like, share, subscribe, comment. All those things are very, very good. Sign up to my sub stack. Sign up to my paid sub stack, which is uh, uh, even better. Not really. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, my sub stack is my email news, as I said. I put a bunch of extra stuff on there. You know what I put on uh, 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 today, on Friday the 18th? It was the original Paul Cornell article from issue 192. Blimey, I can't remember. I can't remember. Amazing, I can still remember the, uh, the issue number. From issue 192 of Doctor Who magazine introducing Bernie Summerfield. Because I put a video out last, this last week about uh, uh, what they should do with that range moving forward. I think they should do with that range moving forward uh, on Friday. Yeah, it's going out today, right? <laughs> so... Uh, um, uh, so I, yeah, so in in the email I was going to, uh, telling people about that video, I also put that extra stuff in. I put a bunch of extra stuff in all the time. So like, share, subscribe, comment, sub, say, follow me on Instagram. I'm on Instagram now. Don't really understand it, but there you go. That's me for you. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all those things. A fan dabby dabby those eat. Now let me hand over to me from last night. I really don't think I'm convinced. It's twenty three eighty six for download. I'm like really. I don't think I'm doing that, right? I mean, it's like, I don't think I'm tempted back uh, to the 8th Doctor range at that price range, frankly. Let's have a look. Now, again, look, it, it, I hadn't really realised this, but the 8th Doctor range has really hurt itself, right? It's really genuinely, genuinely burnt itself. The um, Stranded was a very, very poor idea, right? Uh, frankly... Uh, I would say if you want to do a trans character, which is what you know, the center of, of Stranded was about, right? Stranded was a, a reasonably good idea. Paul McGann's Doctor gets trapped in uh, in Earth in uh, in 2020, which that sounds like a great idea, right? With lockdown and so on. Uh, um, yeah, you know, I think that uh, um, that yeah, that much, it, it was reasonably dull, but it was a good like. Naval quantum. It was a different. It was a different take, and I I, I appreciate them for that. Right. Uh, however, the central pillar of that was that uh, we have a character, a character called Tanya, who's a woman with a penis, who ends up in a relationship with Liv, 
uh, the doctor's uh, uh, companion. Uh, what's her name? Still can't remember her name. Liv Schenker. Whatever. Uh, uh, so uh, from Spooks. Uh, and she's uh, um, and and it's very important to believe that the reason that Lushenka isn't freaked out is because she's from a future where people are more enlightened and they're more open with the scientific certainty that uh, uh, sex, uh, sexuality and gender are both fluid, right? So I think that's a leap of faith, right? I think that's the that the religion of the. Uh, of the liberal progressive, right? And I'm not going to say you're wrong, but I'm not going to say I'm going to have to agree with you or live by what you know how you perceive reality, right? Uh, uh, I, you know, live and let live, baby. That's where I am. Live and let live. Anyway, so that was a fundamental tenet of the uh, of the box set, uh, uh, and they know it was right. They know it was. They say it in the in the extras. I'm like, eh. so I didn't. I I stayed with it for the second one, and it got worse. Uh, so I'm like, I'm out. So and I've been with the Eighth Doctor for so, since the beginning. Right, so I felt reasonably betrayed. At the same time, there was a parallel uh, box set, uh, a series of box sets called The Time War, which was pretty good. But, you know, you should have done the trans character there rather than ruining the soap opera, right, by inserting your religion into it, right? Um, and, you know, your religious doctrine into it, which is what you did, you know. Uh, um, but, okay, and I'm not, I'm not denying their reality. I'm denying the story... Uh, the necessity, if from a story terms, of believing that that the normative state for a human being is that gender and sexuality is fluid. I don't believe they are, and I think those ideas cause nothing but misery, right? I believe they are for some, but I think it's a much smaller group of, of humans than, you know, uh, is currently being encouraged to be, right? So, I, and again, I think it's been of real genuine detriment to everybody, right? I think it's, it, I think it's actually an evil thing. Anyway, so I was out, right? I was out. So then they say they start that was the, they started the big reboot, right? Everything at Big Finish was rebooting. Generally speaking, the reboots have gone very, very well. I'll say I really like the Stephen Noonan first Doctor, mate. So anyway, uh, um, so displeased was I with the uh, uh, um, uh, being forced out of the uh, Eighth Doctor range, right? When they brought it back and it was the same TARDIS crew. I was like, yeah, I don't, I don't really care. Yeah, I don't really like this title of school. I really needed a fresh start, and this isn't right. Uh, um, this isn't a fresh start for me at all. So I, I would, and the story looked okay, but I, I'm, you've killed the range for me right now, and I hadn't really how much realized how much because this thing, Return of Cast, does not do the trick, and I really don't know what they could do to get me back interested in the Eighth Doctor Adventures now. Like they, I mean, they, I mean, they've really much more than I realized. I'd like to be optimistic, right? But much more than I realized, they've really killed it, right? I mean, they, they, I know. I really don't know what they could do to make me go. Oh yeah, I want to check that out. Um, I don't know. Maybe more stuff with Susan, right? Uh, uh I like that plot thread. Uh, uh, but even the new Lucy Miller stuff, I'm like, no, it's aged now, right? It's gone, uh, which is a shame. Like, it's a real shame, but they've really killed it for me. Uh, so I don't think I'm, I'm in for this. The Eighth Doctor Time War Saga is back with a uh, brand new box set, uh, forecast audio drama. It's due for uh, set for due release in January 2023 at Big Finish Productions. Uh, and this time a familiar face uh, and a much beloved character returns. She's not much beloved. I mean, like Paul McGann is, but she isn't. You're not much beloved. You, Cass? Who? What? Paul McGann stars in three epic adventures as a doctor, still attempting to avoid the time war horrors uh, and escape the inevitable fate of becoming the, a warrior. Uh, and he's got a new companion. But has he met her before? Emma Campbell Jones makes a highly anticipated. It's not highly anticipated. Nobody gives a shit. I mean, I mean, like, oh, God bless you. No one, no one's got anything against you, but no one gives a shit. And, and I mean that in the nicest possible way. No one gives a shit. Oh, it's like it's like uh, uh, when Chibnall was all excited about Jacob Anderson, and oh, I, I can't think anybody else could do that well. I mean, really, I, I think I could. Um, 
So much uh, uh, makes a highly anticipated return as Kaz for, uh, for Mazzy. Uh, a decade after the uh, after first appearing in the uh, 2013 mini episode, The Night of the Doctor, who gives a shit? Now Cus somehow jo joins the Eighth Doctor again, but it's at an earlier point in his life. Okay, who gives a shit? Uh, Emma Campbell Jones said, I've been very much hoping and wishing uh, ever since we did that mini episode, there'll be more adventures and uh, magic uh, at some point. Words can't describe how happy I am to be back. Well, I mean, I get it. You're, an, you're a jobbing actor. You know, okay. Well, good for you. Good, jolly good for you. Uh, in the Night of the Doctor, it felt like Cass was just starting out. Yes, because she was. It, it, it was a cut scene. It did. Yeah, I was just starting out. Yeah, you fulfilled your role, right? All right, I mean, that's it. Uh, uh, and the story was very much curtailed. Yeah, she died. It was uh, desperately heartbreaking. That's the point. I love that she uh, has another chance. I'm with me, and she doesn't uh, know her story yet. Again, this is just, I don't know. It's not enough to take me back. I'm like, oh, who gives a shit? I don't know. I, I I just guess I would like to have some fun with the Eighth Doctor. Uh, maybe have him with uh, like a box set versus a celestial toy maker. Uh, again, again, give it a nineteen sixties vibe. Put him in like okay. You remember what you promised us with Dalek Universe and didn't deliver? Okay, Dalek Universe. This is what you promised us: a, a, a modern, updated version of a TV twenty one. Uh, Dalek Wars universe with the uh, special what was it special space service rocket ships and uh, uh, you know agents versus the Daleks and along with uh, uh, at the Android Mark Seven you know it's like so it's kind of like this like voyage but like like what was it the Incredible Voyage meets Star Trek meets Doctor Who. Uh, kind of vibe to it, right? It's like it, it's like Star Trek, uh, 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 kind of done by Irving Allen, right? It's like what? Wait, what is weird? Um, so yeah, with the Daleks, you know, as a basically as a uh, um, as a vehicle for the Daleks, and like the pilot wasn't bad. It's you, big finish has it. Um, they did a version of it, it, it yeah, but it's uh, uh, so we'll promise an updated version of that. You drop me, you actually deliver that and drop Paul McGann's Doctor in there, I'm on board, right? Something I think I can have fun with. Like, you know, like he's, uh, uh, they joining up with a mechanoid force to take on the Daleks. And yeah, if you say there's Daleks in it, don't fuck around and don't put fucking Daleks in it. If it's called Dalek Universe, throw a fucking Dalek in it. Oh, God. So mad. Like, really? Nobody. There's nobody who thought, oh, you know what? This is called Dalek Universe. Maybe. I don't know. Call me, call me Mr. Crazy. Maybe we should have a Dalek story. No, fuck off. Really? Yeah, we don't want a Dalek story. Why not? Well, that's just what, that, that's just what they're expecting. Yes, that's why I paid you. That was my fucking Daleks. Well, we got fake ones in a box set too. I don't want fake Daleks. I want real Daleks doing Dalek-y shit. I want hoverbouts, motherfucker. Give me my motherfucking hoverbouts. Cunts, where are they? You know, but Dalek's can fly nowadays. I don't care. I don't care. I want to hover about. But I want it to be modern and relevant. Really? Yes. Work it out. Get, get Scott Hancock on it. He's good. Right? I don't care. <laughs> That's what I want. Okay. Uh, uh, drop him. Drop Paul McGann in that, I'm on board, right? I, I, I'm like, oh, I'm bringing back Cass. Really? Really? Oh. Well, oh, why? Let me post that on I don't give a shit.com. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if there's anything else you can do to uh, uh, talk me into this. Um, uh, I'm really excited uh, uh, about her journey. Uh, her journey has come and she's become uh, uh, more life to live. It's beautiful and exciting, okay? Uh, so you can, it's now 25 pounds or 20 pound download. To me, it's like 23 bucks right now. 20, it depends on the price of the dollar that day, I guess. Um, yeah, sorry, mate, no. 
No. I mean, like the price increase is just, well, how many discs is it? It's a four disc set, so 20 pounds for this, but, but like, no, I like, Nah, <laughs> it's like it's like twenty three ninety eight. I don't know. Uh, Sonny McGann uh, also returns to the TARDIS as Alex Campbell. Oh, cheeky great grandson from a different universe. Oh, well, that's actually, that for me is is a much more of a selling point. Quite frankly, uh, the three from Act Avengers in this box set are as follows. They're not from a different universe. I don't know. Uh, uh, meanwhile, elsewhere by Tim Foley, Vesper Time by Lou Morgan, and previously next time, Jay's Morgan, which is two parts, right? So, um, I mean, it's for this set, which is a good, a decent size. Lou Morgan is a good horror writer, but I found her incredibly tone deaf in the Master series. Yeah, let's see, don't let's click on that, see what it takes us. Right, self defense. I don't remember which one she did in self defense, but these ones, yeah, in Killing Time, I just found horribly tone deaf, like really shockingly violent. Thirty five seventy nine. Yeah, I'm, there's no way I'm paying that now. You out your mind? Uh, thank God I pre ordered most of most of my stuff, but like going forward, oh mate. Yeah, you got you got be, you got to be lucky. So Paul McGann said, I was happy to find out Emma. And Sonny were joining me as regulars. Uh, this feels special to me. It's great. I have a good feeling about it. It really works. Producer Paul Richardson said, Cass is back, and even when uh, she gets me the title of the uh, fifth, uh, fifth box set in the Eighth Doctor's uh, Time War saga. But how can this be? Cass met the Doctor. I, okay, shut up! Uh, Alice and Cataclysmic is happening. We know it is. Of history, some kind of huge war within time. Yes, yeah, okay, we get it, we get it. So finally, there's another set six is coming out as well. When's that? Uh, uh, April, okay, April in 2024. So it's a year apart. Yeah, but no, mate. Uh, 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 I'm sorry. Wow. My name is Sula Beck in the Rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. Yeah!